This is Doug Varnberg. Welcome back to another Tips and Tricks. And today I'm in my buddy's boat. Uh, he's got the 1100, 1199 in this boat. And I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to learn to play with your sensitivity and contrast, to tweak it, to make it easier to make stuff jump out at you. We'll get into rocky bottom conditions, mud bottom conditions, just to show you how simple, just understanding the, those controls, you can make it so much easier for stuff to jump out at you. Fish, structure, logs, whatever it is underneath the water surface that Hummingbird's going to show you, we can make it so much easier so you can enjoy more time on the water. Okay, how to tweak uh, your sensitivity and your contrast. You'll see on the screen here, uh, we've got some data collected up. Just hit your four-way cursor and stop it. Come up here to the SI Enhance and your sensitivity control, you can increase it and you'll watch that data jump out at you. Look at how the more of those branches show up in that tree. You crank it up too high and it's going to get too hot. It's going to blow the screen out and going to be harder to see details. So you want to just balance that down. Factor default is 10. Come up a couple here. The deeper the water, you'll have to run your sensitivity a little bit higher. Then you have contrast control. Contrast, if you increase the number, it's going to make it brighter. It'll help give a balance between the hard and soft returns. If you take it down, you'll notice how this got wider. So just increase that. And you see about there. You can start seeing the data just a hair better. And that's all you got to do in the hard rocky bottoms to get a good balance. Okay, here's a shallow water, hard bottom here. Uh, we froze the screen. Hit your menu. Come back to your SI Enhance because we can control the sensitivity and contrast. If you look here, we increase that sensitivity a little bit. And you can start seeing these stumps here. This is our softer bottom coming out of a ditch here. But if you actually would come down here and bring your contrast up, you can see how it's really starting to make those rock, each individual rock jump out. You can tune it down, you can see those stumps. It's just, it's just tweaking it a little bit for the different conditions to get the best image. I kind of like there, that's a little too hot. You can get a good balance there and you can really see those each individual stump. There's a little log right here. Uh, got a few little rocks in here. Maybe just up a, a pinch. But if you play that sensitivity and contrast, you'll really make your data jump out at you. Okay, we've traveled in some soft bottoms here. We froze the screen and watch this. Come down to our SI Enhance where we can control both of them. We were at factor defaults there, 10 and 10. If just taking the sensitivity because the soft bottom and increasing it, watch this. At five powers up, look at all these extra logs we've seen that we didn't see before. There's a brush pile here, standing tree there, and just tweaking it. We've got another tree over here, but look at all them logs. If you would have ran factory defaults, you could have barely seen those trees. So just adjusting your sensitivity up just a hair will tweak those logs up. Now let's just try something. We can run our contrast, and if we run it down, it's going to make it stronger. And then bring our sensitivity up. Look at how those logs pop out so much easier. Isn't that a lot easier to then set it and forget it and you missed all that stuff? And softer bottoms, harder bottoms. Softer bottoms, you should, you should probably typically increase your sensitivity, lower your contrast, or increase your sensitivity to make it stand out because the soft bottom is going to absorb sound wave and harder bottoms is going to ricochet harder so you can lower your contrast or lower your sensitivity to get a better balance and make stuff jump well, out. Wasn't that simple uh, learning that the sensitivity and contrast and how you can play with those to make uh, the data jump out a lot easier the hummingbirds collecting it you just got to tweak it to make it easier for you to see uh, soft bottoms remember uh, lower your contrast or increase your sensitivity. Basically, in rocky conditions, you want to lower, you want to increase your contrast and lower the sensitivity, and just play with that adjustment until you get a good balance. Uh, pretty much, once you get set for the conditions of the day, 
uh, you can use those settings, but uh, it helps make it so much easier to find those small details and more fish and the structure that's underneath the water. Thank you for tuning in to another Tips and Tricks, and tune in later as I go more in-depth about my sponsor's products and help you catch more fish and enjoy your time on the water.